Welcome to Wednesday Night NXT, man. We just lifted the program, man. We got Raw now, so that means that Raw is now on Mondays and NXT is on Wednesdays. Whereas before, it was NXT on Tuesdays and SmackDown Live on Wednesdays. So we just lifted the whole program on your album. But the Fallout 4 for Money in the Bank, man. This is, this is it. This is the first show. We're going into our next pay-per-view, which is our uh, third takeover pay-per-view, I believe. And, um, yeah, man, it's going to be a very interesting pay-per-view, a very interesting next couple of weeks. And Stone Cold is bopping down to the ring with some authority behind it. And I know why he's out here, man. If you watch Money in the Bank, Raw decided they wanted to start this war. And I ain't talking about war is war. This war is on. They, they want to they wanna step into our territory and Money in the Bank. And it's on. And it's on. I'm getting hyped behind this commentary, though. Yeah, it's on. It's wrapped. Stone Cold, he got to dress something. He got to do something because NXT ain't going down like this. We ain't going out like this. Uh, Stone, you could, this man is really stressed. Look at him. He know he got to say something towards this, this situation real quick. So let's listen to what Stone Cold. Hey, look at him. He's not having it. <laughs> None of it. Let's do this, man. Come on, Stone Cold. Let me hear something great. This is the greatness of, of Austin. Let me hear what he got to say, man. The war is in full swing. <laughs> and trust, they done, they done, did have to change their name for fact. I like the frog because they were getting whooped. <laughs> Tim Pop, man. <laughs> he done, listen, I don't want to hear TJP's name anymore. He just got ripped. Stone Cold just ripped him. Said Stone Cold got a plan up in this mix. Stone Cold knows what he's doing. He's been a part of a brand war before. He knows. This man really he sent out the call. He sent out the call. So, Chris Jericho, TJP, I want to see one of you right here next week on this show. And that is huge, man. We're about to have a hell in the cell match at NXT TakeOver Seattle. So, that's the, the, the there is, man. That's the next pay-per-view. NXT TakeOver Seattle will be the next pay-per-view for NXT, man. That's a, that's a different kind of kind of takeover, man. You know, it's not, it's not your Brooklyn. It's not your flipping Texas. Is. But a uh, huge announcement by Stone Cold... And a call out, TJP, Ric Flair, Chris Jericho, one of y'all three, all three of y'all mouth back can come down here and get these hands. Trust that, Dan Fippin. L pissing me off. Oh, welcome back to NFC, man. About to kick this show off, man. And Stone Cold on uh, NFC.com announced that we would have a tag team mini tournament inside the new number one contenders for the tag team championships. We're going to have TM61. Taking on uh, the Undisputed Era, and later tonight we will have the Authors of Pain taking on High Voltage. The winners of these two matches will then go over to next week, and we will find out who is going to NXT TakeOver Seattle to face off against the bar for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And uh, we know the Undisputed Era have their schemish ways. They've got their ways about them. They, they, they know what they're doing. They've got a plan. They know what they're doing. And of course, I know Adam Cole is still in pursuit of uh, trying to capture the NXT uh, North American Championship away from Pete Dunne, who is the first ever North American Champion on this Universe mode. So uh, 
big, big achievement there for Pete Dunne. And uh, Adam Cole is not going to take that lightly. Neither is the Undisputed Area. Not our three of them not going to have none of this. Uh, later on in the match here, bit of a bit of a miscommunication there between uh, Sami Zayn and uh, Ty Dillinger. But, you know, this is their first kind of tag team, second tag team match. You know, they still got to work around the edges, uh, the, the rust that is there. Uh, but Sami Zayn, now a member of the Undisputed Era fans, still salty over the fact that uh, Sami Zayn has turned his back on them and gone alongside the darkness that is the Undisputed Era. And Sami Zayn with a halluva kick. On to Nick Miller. Undisputed Era pick up the win and they go through to next week. Who will they be facing? Authors of Pain or High Voltage? We'll have to find out, man. But a few clips earlier on the match here. Nice roll up there. I don't know why they're joining your rock. Talk about some roll up. And then. Oh, the Lord. And then here, here it was. This is raps, then. It's raps. But uh, yeah, man, the Undisputed Era looking to completely take over the brand, man. Adam Cole told me a few weeks back that uh, this is just the beginning. They want to expand the Undisputed Era to, to, the, to the point where it is completely dominated and, and, and just, just taken over the whole universe. So we'll have to see what, what plans they got coming up. But they are through to the finals of the NXT Tag Team Tournament. And we'll see who they're facing on later tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go check out this trash brand. No, I mean, they shifted over, man. They made the change. It's been, they, they done well. I done made a whole bunch of changes last season. Kirsten only making the first change here and gone to Monday Night Raw, man. Check out the guys at Finn Balor. Uh, 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 them lot there. You know, you got your flipping. Carl Anderson. A couple people down there, man. I, I, I did not see no high key names there. But make sure you go check out Raw, man. But this my trucker out here talking about some y'all know what time it is. No, I do not. Our truth. No, I do not know what time it is. That's why we have to know your microphone. Because nobody in the arena know what time it is. You just out here screaming. It's like you know when you a rappers on their mixtape talking about some y'all already know who it is. No, I don't know who it is. I don't. I just don't, bro. That's why I'm listening to the track to listen to you. I don't know who you are, but I know who it is. Is it is. Alistair Black, you will never be, be. Uh, what? I'll hit the hardest milli rock to this song, yo. Flipping hell. But uh, spoke to Alistair Black earlier tonight, and Alistair Black mentioned to me, and he said, you know what? I've not had the best uh, uh, start to the season. In fact, matter of fact, season one for me was better than how it has been this season. And he said, you know, I need to get my game back together. And he said, you know what? It's, it's time I take on everyone and anyone on this roster. Oh my goodness me! To the back of the head, mid-speech. And he said, it's time to take on anyone and everyone on the road to redemption to restore what is left of Alistair Black's uh, uh, career here on, on Universe, man. He's not really done very well for himself so far this season. Losing the European Championship, which has now gone over to SmackDown Live. Didn't do well in the uh, Money in the Bank. Some say he actually was the uh, reason that uh, RVD won the Money in the Bank. And, um, you know, now it's kind of just time for him to just get back on track. Get back on track. So the road to redemption is what Alistair Black is on. He's on the path of just trying to get back to the next level trying to get to that higher level and i'm pretty sure we'll get there man as everything fades to black so we're all of his opponents man it's only a matter of time and alistair black sure looks focused and determined to get back to where he knows he should be oh wait a minute wait a minute camera just come backstage oh my goodness drew mcintyre and luke harper they've been at it for weeks and these constant backstage assaults. Oh my god, the back. Oh my god, the back. My god, the back. <laughs> the back of Drew McIntyre. My goodness. Luke Harper, ruthless with it. He's done. He's done. We need some medical attention. These two, Drew McIntyre stole the spot of Luke Harper. <laughs> in the money in the bag ladder match. Stole the spot. Luke Harper was not able to compete. My goodness. I don't know how what's gonna happen with those. So Stone Cold got to do something with them too. Stone Cold has to because it's been every single week someone is getting discombobulated, and I'm, I don't know about y'all, but we saw that lower back just driving into that to that uh, uh, metal kind of box there, and I don't know. Drew McIntyre's lower back might be might be suffering quite a bit 
from that assault. So uh, we'll get you. We'll give you an update, hopefully, uh, before next week. What happened with Drew McIntyre? But authors of pain, man, haven't had tag team gold for um, quite a long time, man. It's been it's been pretty much. Should be pretty much, you know. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All the pain in the ring, and my goodness, it's Saturday. Saturday are back. Saturday attacking all for the pain before their match against High Voltage. Of course, the referee has a run for the bell. The match hasn't even started. High Voltage aren't even out here. And these feet here they come. High Voltage music hits on cue. Cedric. And Rich, both looking at each other like they know what's just happened. They know that this could be the opportunity for them. The, the, the underdogs in this match might be the successors here. They might actually become the the, the, the finalists in the tag team tournament. And look at this. Rich Rogers going to the top rope here. As uh, I think that's Aker in the middle. Frog splash. Frog splash. Two. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my, no, 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 no. Authors of Pain are not gonna take that. Sanity are back again, causing problems in the Authors of Pain's life. My goodness. My goodness, what have we just witnessed? Here we go, time for some knockout style wrestling. Here we go. No one split with it yet. Yeah. Come on, catches, man. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the devil scheduled to be. Oh, Lord. Jeez. Neville's supposed to be in action against Cassius Ono oh and a blindside attack there by Neville and Neville picking up Ono. Oh, no. oh, the forearm smash in the face of Cassius Ono, oh knocking him down, head bouncing off of the uh, ramp here. And Neville's just walking down to the ring. Neville uh, just taking out his opponent, I guess, before the match has even started. I guess Neville doesn't even want a match. He picking up a microphone, got something to say, I guess. It was supposed to be King Neville's time for Chris Jericho decided, nah, we good, DDT on your ass. Don't worry, don't worry. Neville has got a big, big quest in front of him, and he's got to recapture his World Heavyweight Championship at Seattle. Then he can turn his attentions over to Chris Jericho, who he's, I, I guess, offered a challenge to at SummerSlam. Um, but but first, he's got to focus on Kurt Angle. And I don't know if we're going to see Chris Jericho or Chris Jericho or what's going to happen with Raw. But he's got to maintain his focus on Kurt Angle. That's the main priority for Adrian Neville, man. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's got a massive quest ahead of him. Time for the main event, then. Get your phone Heard it right, man. Main event time. NXT Television Championship. Kevin Owens said, I ain't waiting until till two weeks time. I ain't waiting until NXT TakeOver Seattle. I'm cashing in my rematch clause tonight. And The Rock said, just bring it. So here we are. That drop. Bro. I can't. No. <laughs> theme song's too much. Like when I, I I had I'm not gonna lie I had this theme song on my phone at one point. Every time I was bopping down the road, bro, I thought I was the hardest dude in the street. You couldn't tell me nothing. Yeah, when I hit that, da -na 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 -na. when I hit that, the bop just increases a little bit more. The shoulders start moving with the legs, got the arms, knees, and shoulders all in line, bro. Forget all that. I'm getting carried away. Forget all that. Forget what I'm talking about. Kevin Owens, The Rock. Number num, num, number three on your last, and here he is. I guess this is the, the culmination of this this uh, little feud here. And The Rock bringing out that NXT Television Championship. It looks absolutely tantalistic in all of its glory, man. I mean, personally for me, not personally, it's just facts. NXT has the best looking championships in this universe, um, you know. Raw, they got the, they still keeping the WWE Championship. Although I am 
an odd one out. I prefer the Universal Championship, but that's raw. They, they just trash. They don't know what beauty looks like. And uh, they don't know what talent is because talent is in The Rock and they let The Rock go. They ruined his career. He moved on to NXT and he's done absolutely fantastic for himself. So The Rock is on is still on that road to revival, man. It's, and it's a long road to, to be to be considered top five at least in this universe. And The Rock with that vicious right hand, Kevin Owens, in a world of his own here. And The Rock lifting him up. Vicious spine buster. And The Rock looking to take control here. The Rock is in control here. Oh, Kevin Owens moved it. I thought he was going to get out of it. No, he doesn't. Here they come down the people's elbow to the chest, to the heart. Driving the elbow through the heart of oh, Kevin Owens. Good night. And The Rock retains his NXT Television Championship, man. Wow. The Rock is still your NXT Television Champion. This man is really keeping hold of this belt. This man say he's not losing his belt for not nothing. Look at the old driving that elbow through the heart, man. It's, just, it's, it's, it's tense here, man. And The Rock still NXT Television Champion. Who's going to be the one to take that title off of The Rock, man? So far too... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah, CM Punk, he's back, we haven't seen CM Punk in a couple months, then, CM Punk is back, Punk is back, and he's taking it all out, on the rock, slaps, chops, everything, that end step up into Guri, into the bulldog vintage CM Punk, man, CM Punk is here, and the steel chair, I'm looking, I'm, 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 CM Punk's going for it, CM Punk's going for it, the steel chair, just there, outside of the ring, CM Punk sliding the rock is still gazed and a still chair shot to the skull. A head shot, perfect, clear as daylight, straight on top of the head and the shot to the ribs. And CM Punk is making an example out of the rock. CM Punk is back. We have not seen CM Punk at all in season two. Picking up the chair again. Goodness me! Another shot to the skull of the rock. CM Punk has completely dismantled The Rock here. And The Rock is getting up again. The Rock does not know how to stay down. CM Punk! Oh my God! Leg Lariat takedown. Spinning Leg Lariat takedown. And I think that might have done it. CM Punk is back. Oh my. What's going to happen next week? Make sure you tune in to NXT. I'll see you for the next episode. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, yeah.